Hey, y'all. Hey, now. Happy Monday. Hey, Natasha, how are you? Can you hear me okay? Yes, you can hear me good, good, good. I am inviting some folks and then we will dig in. Who else just joined us? I cannot see who you are. Type a comment, say hey. Hey, Christine, how are you? I hope everyone is warm and well this evening invite your friends if you have not already somebody who you think might benefit from what i am going to share i'm not going to keep you long uh, well we're going to get that taken care of this evening i am glad you are here so like I said, ladies, please share this out. Invite your friends and followers. Um, for some reason, Facebook will not allow me to invite anybody. Um, and we will get started in about 30 seconds. Hey. Shandia. Who else is on? Give me a wave, a comment, an emoji. Let me know. Are you feeling stuck? Is this especially for you or are you tuning in for your one friend? Let me know. Let me know. I hope you all are having an amazing Monday. Um, so I um, hopped on last week and shared that um, a lot of people have been in a space for the past few weeks or so talking about how they need a do over already right? January is almost over. The resolutions are kind of out the window and people are trying to figure out how they can start 2019 over again, February 1st. And so I decided that I would do a few live streams about how to get unstuck. If you missed the one last week, I suggest you tune into it. It's good stuff. You can find it um, here on the Facebook page or um, there's a snippet of it on Instagram, if you're on Instagram. So I wanted to talk today, last week I talked about why you might be feeling stuck. And today I want to talk about why you're still stuck, right? Because once we recognize that we're stuck, then it's up to us to do the work to get unstuck, right? And if you're unwilling to do the work, then you're still going to be stuck. And if you aren't careful, it'll be July and you'll be trying to start 2019 over again. And ain't nobody got time for that. We got things to do. Um, so that's what we're going to tune into tonight. Just in case you are new, unfamiliar with who I am, haven't listened to me on live before. My name is Tiffany Huff Struthers. I'm the founder of the Tiffany Huff Experience. I work very hard and passionately to help women recover from their setbacks and then share their stories and experiences to make an impact. So if you are stuck, then you know your challenge to share your story and or experience to make an impact. So this is why you're still stuck. One of the very prevalent reasons why we remain stuck, unmoved, unable to go forward or progress. And it is because we refuse to pivot. What does that mean? It means you may have been in the wrong lane for a very long time. You may have been climbing the wrong ladder for a very long time. And because you've been there for so long, you feel like 
you've invested too much time, energy. Hey, Tyann. Um, hey, Tasha, you feel like you've invested too much time or energy and you cannot now um, switch lanes or pivot and climb, you know, and start again. But here's the challenge with that. It keeps you stuck because you choose to stay halfway up the wrong ladder um, where you look like you're going somewhere, even though you don't really want to get to the top. You choose to stay stuck there as opposed to climbing down that ladder and starting at the bottom of the right ladder. And so when you aren't willing to pivot, when you feel like you look better in the wrong lane, even though it's not the lane that you know you are called or created to be in, then you remain stuck. So what is it that's keeping you stuck? Why are you afraid to pivot? Are you concerned about what people think? Are you concerned about the time it will take you to get back um, to where you are in the right lane? Whatever the case may be, you need to get honest with yourself and recognize that there is power in the pivot. There's so much power in pivoting, but if you choose to stay stuck because you're afraid of starting again, then you will remain stuck, not only in 2019, but for years to come. Sometimes progress, purposeful progress re requires you to pivot. Does that mean that you'll stay at the bottom forever? No, it actually means that you will have some forward momentum. If you think about a slingshot, right? Think about how David beat the Goliath. He had the rocks and he had a slingshot. Because he pulled the slingshot back, the rocks had momentum and they could go forward faster and higher, right? So if if you are willing to take some step some steps back, then it could be very well that you will pivot or you will progress faster. But if you're unwilling to pivot, if you're not willing to be honest with yourself and know that there are some changes that are going to have to be made, it may look like um, to those on the outside that you are going backwards or that you are not making progress. It doesn't matter because you know that you are making progress. So where is it that you need to pivot? Now, a lot of times we think about this only in the case of our careers, right? Maybe you have been working at a job or in a business for a very long time. You recognize that you've gone as far as you can go. You can't get any more promotions. You can't get a raise. And it's kind of like, well, I've been here forever. I have good benefits. I have four weeks vacation. But you know that all you are really holding on to is the four weeks vacation. You're not fulfilled in your job. You're not making the money you know you could be making. It may be time for you to pivot. But it's not limited to your career or professional or business endeavors. You may need to pivot in some relationships, right? You may have become stagnant because of the company you keep or the way you keep your company and it may be time for you to pivot. Maybe you need to start going out and experiencing um, some new environments, meeting some new people so that you can get to where it is you, you know God will have you to go. Maybe you feel like you can't lose any weight, but you continue to eat the same foods and do the same things with your time. It may be time for you to pivot. Maybe everything doesn't need to be centered around food, right? you are going to have to have the courage to start something and to stop something when it comes to pivoting, right? So you have to have the courage to start something that's going to change your ability to progress. And then you have to have the courage to stop something that's limiting your ability to progress. Both of those things are required for you to pivot. And so you have to take a really honest look at where you are what you're doing and what you're not doing so that you can get crystal clear about where you need to start and where you need to stop. Otherwise, like I said, we'll be halfway through this year and you will still be stuck. In fact, we could be halfway through next week and you're still stuck because you refuse to get honest with yourself about the reality that it is time for you to pivot. And in fact, that may require you to take some steps back. But when you step back, you gain momentum. And another example I can give you if the slingshot doesn't work for you, if you think about when you get ready to light a grill, right? You put your charcoal in there, your lighter fluid or whatever, you throw the match in. Before the glow up, before the flames rise, you have to step back so that you don't get burnt. 
The same is true in your life. Sometimes you have to take a step back so that you can see the fullness and the entirety of what is in front of you and pivot as necessary to, to step into that greatness, to step into the glow up. So I have created a, hey, Tam Tam, I have created a free workbook that you can download with the link in my bio or in the comments if you're on Facebook. It's called the Gl Getting Clear to Make 2019 Your Year. It's a free workbook that will help you really take an honest look at what went on in 2018, what needs to go on in 2019 for you to really make this your year, for you to get unstuck in and if this is the case, if you need to do some pivoting, it is free 99. So take advantage of this resource and invest the time in yourself. Get crystal clear about where you need to start, where you need to stop, and what it is is really going to take for you to get unstuck. Before I hop off, because I said I didn't want to keep you all too long, if you have any questions, you can type them in the comments or... Um, questions, comments, if there is a particular topic you are struggling with that you might want me to consider for lives in the future, I'm open to that as well. Otherwise, I thank you all for tuning in. Pray that you are blessed by this message and don't forget to download your free workbook and get started. Do the work, invest in yourself and be honest about the power of the pivot and whether or not it's time for you to do that, for you to really make some progress and make 2019 your year. Pivoting or the, the resistance to pivot is, large, is in large part why you are still stuck. Let's make some changes, y'all. All right. Enjoy your week. <laughs>